What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how I achieve these flexi rod curls using the Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly. And for a special guest appearance, keep watching to the end of the video. Starting on freshly washed hair, I'll be applying my leave-in and avocado oil to help moisturize and seal my hair. And then I'll twist those sections back up to prevent any further tangling. After applying leave-in and oil to my entire head, I'll let my hair air dry for about 1-2 to two hours. So once my hair is about 80-90% to 90 dry, I'll be using the Curls Lavish Curls Moisturizer and the Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly to set my flexi rods. I'm going to take the sections I'm not using at the moment and clip those out of the way. And then using the Curls Moisturizer, I'm going to spray one entire quadrant with the moisturizer. And then I'm going to separate that into smaller sections to then start my flexi rods. I'll then apply the Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly about a dime size amount to uh, each section. And then split that section in half and starting at the ends, roll the flexi rod up to the root and secure at the root. So you may see a lot of people who secure their flexi rods at both the roots and the ends. And the reason why I don't do it this way is so I can fit more flexi rods onto my head. Because if I secured it at both ends, they all wouldn't fit. I like to keep my hair um, rotted in small sections. So number one, my hair will dry faster. Um, but also to create a much sleeker curl. The more hair you have on the rod, the less um, sleek your hair might be and your hair may end up um, retaining some of its uh, natural curl pattern, especially at the root. So the smaller the sections, the sleeker the curl and the faster it'll dry. So with the Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly, I love it because it has blueberry extract, which is an antioxidant to help protect the hair. And then it also contains castor oil, which is a great moisturizer for the hair. This is about my fourth or fifth time using this curl control jelly for different hairstyles and I really, really love it a lot. So I had no intention to sleeping in these flexi rods, so I decided to go ahead and take them out before I went to bed. I did sit under the dryer for about 20 minutes just to make sure my roots were completely dry because if your hair is still wet or damp, that can ruin the set. So before I go to bed, I'm not going to separate my curls. I'm going to wear my hair in a pineapple and I'm going to use this stretch out elastic and tie it over my um, neck twice and then pull it over my hair just so my hair is nice and high up on my head to protect my curls. And then some of the pieces in the back I'm going to take out because I don't want this to stretch too too much because that will give me uh, mullet shaped hair. And using my satin scarf, I'm going to pull that over my head just to keep my hair protected and keep it moisturized and in a little bit you'll see me take the elastic off of my head because I don't want my hair to have any um, bends or any kind of weird shapes in my hair overnight. So then I'll take my oversized satin bonnet and place all of my hair on the inside to protect it while I sleep. The next day I'm ready to separate my curls so I'm going to apply some oil to my hands and smooth it through my hair so that when I separate my hair I don't have any frizz. And then starting from the roots I just take my thumbs and run my fingers from the roots to the ends and just separate my hair where it wants to naturally separate and which is what I do for most of my styles when I separate. And this is most of the completed look. I forgot a few pieces in the back right there. And for added volume, I'll use my fingers as a pick to help fluff out my roots and to make my hair a little bit bigger. So here's the completed look. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! Can you smile from here? Say hey YouTube! <laughs> here's my squish.